I was reading in my Bible this morning in Ephesians 4, especially verses 26 and 27. And those verses say, be angry and yet do not sin. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Don't give the devil an opportunity. And as I was thinking about those verses, there were four things that just immediately jumped out at me. You know, number one, you're, we're going to get angry, right? It's just feeling that emotion of anger is not the problem. The problem is when we let that anger trigger reactions that then result in wrongdoing. And number two, be angry, but don't sin. And so how do you do that? By dealing with the anger promptly. Number three truth was how do you deal with it promptly? You address it immediately, right? Don't let the sun go down in your anger. And the fourth truth that stuck out to me was to be aware of the devil's sneaky wrestling moves. And that is where I kind of camped out. You know, I got to thinking once the devil gets a foothold in your life, he has a chance to get a stronghold in your mind. And then he gets a chokehold, right? That knocks the life and the breath out of you. And that's his goal to finish you off, right? He wants you to lose your balance. He wants to render you ineffective for the kingdom. And so he gets that first hold on you whenever you fail to deal properly and promptly with your anger. And it got me thinking, you know, it's probably why we're cautioned in James 1. You know, what is it around verses 19 or 20 where he says, let everyone be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, right? Why? Because the anger of man doesn't achieve the righteousness of God. So I wrote in the margin of my Bible, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs>